before I forget, let's look and see how much I spent. £1.30. And it's all fruit and vegetables this week. Um, what day is it today? It's Wednesday. Yesterday I went to Weatherby. And uh, I'll just show you a little clip. I've just called at Marks and Spencers. I'm in Weatherby. And I've got some more of those chicken like portions. Still £1.50. Their bananas are the cheapest I've seen, 90p per kilogram. I actually bought four, but I've just had one for my dinner. Along with a couple of slices of bread, actually. This um, large loaf was reduced from 75p to 50p. And I've been feeding the ducks. With some of the bread. The debris now is about a third of the way across the river. With all the rain and the snow melt. I was thinking perhaps with the chicken I might because this this oriental salad like I've said before once it's cut once vegetables are cut like this they do need using as will these Singapore noodles so I might I might just have it um, vegetarian or I might cook some chicken with it but I'll be cooking that in the morning and there'll be enough for two meals now I'll, I'll have it cold probably the day after, take with me when I'm out. So the Oriental stir fry was 160 down to 10 pence. The Singapore noodles were 125 down to 10 pence. There was lots of salad. So I got two bistro salads, 130 down to 10 pence. Everything else will keep a little bit longer. It's just those there that will want using. I got some pad choy, 140 down to 10 pence. Some dwarf green beans, 121 down to 10 pence. And again, I thought the leeks with the chicken would be nice. Those are organic leeks. And as I've said before, organic things don't keep as long as things that aren't organic, so they all want using. 190 down to 10 pence. Some runner beans, 175 down to 10 pence. Some taste the different taste the difference carrots. What's that? 170 down to 10 pence. These lovely grapes, and I've had these before, and they are nice. Mixed seedless grapes, they've been 375 down to 10 pence. And I got some black seedless grapes as well. And these are, I've had these before and these are lovely. 240 down to 10 pence. There were lots and lots of Seville oranges, but I had no intentions of making any marmalade. And all those were down to 10 pence, as were these. These are like, I don't know what these are. They're like satsumas, I think. Uh, 150 down to 10 pence. And then the nectarines, he was just putting in the cabinet. 220 down to 10 pence. Shall I, shall I add it up and see how much it would have all cost? Let me just go get the calculator. 23 pounds 26. Minus one pound thirty. So I saved twenty one pound ninety six. And people ask me what time did you go, Jill? I was there at about ten to eight. There were already some reductions to ten p, 
but when I'd had a look, good look round the star, there were some more reductions to 10p, so that was probably about 20 past eight. I was there about half an hour. So that's my Sainsbury's little shopping haul. And I'm taking my list of things I need to Lidl tomorrow. So I'll show you my little Lidl haul as well. Do you remember when I did the stock take? And I, as I was going around Sainsbury's, I've, I've written a list. And as I was going around Sainsbury's, I remembered self-raising flour. That was the main thing I needed. Anyway, so that's going on the list. So that's my lunch today, Thursday the 15th of February, the day that the UK officially went into recession apparently. The inflation figures were out the other day and it says that food inflation is actually falling, well I'm not seeing it. Leave it in the comments if you've seen things coming down in price. Anyway, this is my lunch today. Singapore noodles. I've used one of those, well half of one of those sachets of katsu curry sauce that I got, what, just after Christmas, just before Christmas, reduced to 30p. So there's the 10p oriental stir fry vegetables. I didn't use any chicken, I'm just going to have it vegetarian I think. And the noodles that I got reduced to 10 pence. And then for pudding, I've got some, some of those grapes that I got reduced to 10 pence. And one of the oranges and a cup of coffee. Yes, apparently we're in recession. But the other day I noticed, and I actually gasped out loud. Look, in a, it, this is in a week. The petrol has gone up four pence in one week. I don't think I saw that even last year. It was going at one and a penny and twopence at a time, and then it came down a penny and twopence at a time. But I don't remember it going up four p in one go. I don't see how that that's not going to feed through into inflation. I've just got back from Lidl. And though I did go for self-raising flour, and remembered it, um, I only got one. And I did see, I do stand corrected, because I did see a few price reductions. Oops, somebody dropped something upstairs. Anyway, this is what I bought. I bought four pints of skimmed milk, and that's the same price at the major supermarkets, and Aldi, £1.45. The reason I only got one bag of self-raising flour was there, was there was only three in a big carton thing, a big cardboard pallet where they store it all. There was only three right at the bottom. So, and this one is dated September, I don't know if you can see, September 2024. So I thought I'd wait and see for a different date. So I just got the one because I'm, uh, I've only got a little bit left. I did, and that was, how much was the self-raising flour? That was 79p. The cocoa powder, which always has a good date on. January 27. That was a pound, one pound forty-nine. I wonder how much that'll be in 2027. Um the I needed one of these as well. This is their light butter spread. And that was how much was that? That was 95p. And these are the things that I actually saw had been reduced. The sweeteners had been, if you look, 69p, and now they're down to 65p. And these, 
had gone up to a pound and nine pence. And again, if you look, these have come down near a 10%. They're now 99p. And as I've said before, there's two in a packet, so you're actually getting 10 biscuits. So that's working out at 10 pence each. That's okay. So I've got two of those. And then the fig rolls, those had been 49p and they've come down to 45p. So there are a couple of prices coming down. Anyway, we'll see how that uh, fuel price rise, petrol price rise feeds through. So all in all, I did want some more self raising flour though. Anyway, all in all, I actually spent £7.76. Take care, people.